An absolute fortune has been spent on the Focus RS. It would take me way too long to list everything that we've done to this car, so if you haven't already, I'll stick the playlist up in the corner, go and check it out. But I do think that you guys at home have been sympathising about the amount that's been spent on this car, because actually, I've received a part for free. In the last video, I took this over to Germany on a road trip, 1,500 miles, and it was absolutely epic. But it developed a bit of a weird fault with the boost, and a lot of you guys said it's definitely the boost solenoid, which is this badger here, very kindly sent to us by Lee Kemp. Very much appreciated, mate. He didn't want any money for the part or for postage. I can't explain to you how much things like this help, so thank you very much for that, mate. We're gonna get it fitted on the Focus now and hopefully sort that issue out. Although, I do have to say that since we have been back from Germany, this hasn't done the boost issue thing once. But then we've not been doing 400 miles a day in it either, so it definitely needs changing. Meanwhile, the winter refresh is coming along nicely for the Carlton. The turbo conversion is coming along nicely for the Yaris and the RS4 is fixed minus the oil leak, which when I looked under it yesterday is definitely getting worse. I'd be very surprised if I can film any of the removal and reinstallation of the new part here because I can barely get my hands to it, so I'm just gonna change this, see you in two hours. Hey, have you ever needed some tools, right, and you thought, I really, really could do without a specific tool, but I am absolutely not paying the prices of some of the big boys. And that's because some of them prices can lead into the hundreds and hundreds of pounds. And I've been after some stubby ratchets for ages, right, and I found these little badgers on Timu. If you haven't heard of Timu before, they offer some really high quality items at some very reasonable prices. And just one of these little things can be upwards of like 60, 70, 80 pound. But I got the full set for 32 pound 50. But at that price, I thought, it can't be any good, surely. That product must be rubbish. Ever had a bolt that's just too big for one socket and just too small for another? Well, I'm gonna team my new stubby ratchet up with this. This is a seven to 19 mil socket and it'll literally fit anything in between. Teamed up with my new stubby ratchet, this should be a doddle. Look at that. Not only that, I've got some proper heavy duty pliers. But the best bit has got to be this. Ever since I broke the battery ratchet, Ash has been whinging saying that he needed another one, so I got one. And in fairness, that last battery ratchet didn't really have much grunt anyway. It was handy, but it weren't great. This one on the other hand though, is a beast. And at just over £77, with all that saving, it's an absolute bargain as well. Now this isn't really designed to do this kind of thing, but I didn't buy it, so if I break it, it doesn't really matter. Wow. And if you download the app, the shopping experience is brilliant and there's some absolutely amazing deals to be had on there too. And if you use my link and my code, I'll put it in the description, there's even more bargains to be had. So what on earth are you waiting for? Make sure you check out the link in the description box below and use the code provided to get yourself some absolute high quality bargains. This stuff's gonna come in handy for that boost solenoid too. Out with the old and in with a new. I definitely wouldn't have been able to show you that. Not that you can see it, but rooted up there is the boost solenoid. And every day is a school day. What I actually did was put the solenoid in position and then tried to get the pipes on, which was really awkward. What I should have done was put the pipes on. You all right there, mate? Oh, what I told you to do. No, you didn't. Did you? They can't hear you anyway, you're muted. I'm so, not, uh, I've just turned it on. Have you? Yeah. What, you've turned it on? <laughs> I turned it on and I was the one who come and sorted it and I did take it back off. What well, Ash was there, it was, he's, he treats this garage as a spectator sport. He was there watching me struggle. Uh, but what actually happened was I should have put the pipes on first and then fitted it on the little bracket thing that it's on. Hopefully now my dodgy boost issue is sorted. Wheel back on, I want to organise a track day. Both me and Ash have put a lot of hard work into this car and what better way to confirm how good it is is to ask a mate. So what we say, mate? Are you asking them? I'm asking, <laughs> I'm asking you, Younes. All right, you want me to? Oh, it's just because you said mate. Well, the thing is, you are qualified to tell us because you had one of these new. Yeah. And it was always broken. Yeah, it was always in the garage. But this one's no different because you said you were fixing that boost thing. Which I thought I had. And it still broke because you put your foot down. Can you hear that? I can hear that. I'm glad the brakes work. Uh, yeah, me too. You, you did the brakes, though, didn't you? I did. <laughs> Why has no one ever got any confidence in the work that I do? I've got to admit, yeah, I did change the boost solenoid and it's still not working. There is something very, very peculiar going on with the boost. And as for the brakes, did the brakes work? Well, yeah, they, they work absolutely amazing because I put my foot down and didn't realise there was a car in front, so I had to stop real quick. They do work. Now, you did upgrade the brakes, right? 
Uh, no, these are just factory brakes. But yeah. they're brand new. Brand spanking. Yeah. So, obviously, yeah, it's going to stop. Bloody hell. And it tram lines. <laughs> it's talks there on this, it's ridiculous. <laughs> but it's a dead exciting car to drive because you just don't know what it's going to do. Put your foot down. Two, two hands on the wheel because if you have one hand on the wheel, you're going in the ditch. <laughs> and it's got, what, 420 horsepower or something just like that? Just under 418 brake, yeah. And it feels it. It's really good. Obviously, it's dry today, so it's uh, good fun. In the rain, maybe not. Maybe you're just going to be spinning on the spot. But yeah, I really like it. it. Brings back memories because when we bought this car, what is it, 12 months ago now, it wasn't as good as this. This looks miles better. It drives way better and there's not as many knocks and bangs. So it does put you off a car when you can hear things knocking in the back and the suspension and bushes were worn out and all kinds of things were worn out. Super Ash, mechanic, he's fixed it all. What do you mean, just Super Ash? Oh, and you as well, yeah. Charming, although I've got to be honest, I would never have been able to get this car to this point uh, still broken without Ash. Anyway, enough about this absolutely brilliant Ford Focus. Where are we going? I'm on my way to pick up the GT3 because it's been in the dealership for probably three or four months. There's a bit of a story to it, but rather than ruin your, your video on the Focus RS, because, you know, this is about the Focus RS. It is. I'll tell you about it in another video, but it is a story. Interesting one or not? No, I don't know, probably not. Well, you guys seem to enjoy the last GT3 video, so make sure you keep your eyes peeled, and if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel, yeah. hit the notifications. Yeah, yeah, subscribe and all that. Forget that a minute, right? Just sub subscribe. Subscribe. It's now. We've got the lights. This is, this is a drag, look. It's, it's begging, it's begging to be dragged. Even though the boost is like all over the place, it is, it's still dead fun to drive. It really is. A little bit of wheel spin, doesn't get off the line too well because it's just, you know, front wheel drive, 400 horsepower, it's never gonna work, is it? So it looks like once I've dropped Lee off at Porsche, I need to get back to the unit and fix that boost solenoid again. Now, of course, the boost issue is obviously gonna be my fault, wasn't it? So previously, the boost solenoid was completely broken. This time round, I'd put the replacement boost solenoid on the wrong way around, and that's why it wasn't boosting properly. So now, I've changed it round, I've just been for a spin, it's sorted. Now, as I mentioned earlier in the video, this car is an absolute disgrace, and I needed to do something about it. And when I say I needed to sort it out, I mean that I've got a draft in the professionals, James, mate, as usual, to help me out. usual, yeah. Have you ever seen a car that bad? Yeah. Good, will you be able to sort this out easy, easy. then? I reckon your Citrus alone will box this off, won't it? Yeah, take off a good 90-95% of it, and then we'll use the rest of the products and we'll get it back to normal. Yeah. I have got to say, right, there's one bucket, two buckets, three buckets. You're at least 13 short. Now, because I know what these lads from Manchester are like, where there's a blame, there's a claim. And this, no joke, is like an ice rink. So I put some salt down to make sure that I don't get that off. It gives you an idea as to how cold it is. I don't know if you can see. Already, it's iced over and we're still going. Soldiering on, aren't you? And now the butty van's here. Look at the smile hey. on his face. <laughs> the difference with that already, that looks absolutely incredible compared to before. Although I actually did like it with a bit of dirt up the side because I thought it was giving sort of rally car vibes. Is there anything in particular product-wise or process-wise that you want to share with the audience? The other thing we've not put on this is the ceramic detailer, so that's Ben's job tomorrow. My job? That's your job, you right, have okay. to use that, so. That just sprays on and wipes it. It's going to leave it about 30 yeah. seconds and then yeah. wipe it off. Wipe it on, buff it off. Are you going to have a discount code or not? Every time I come here, we have to do a <laughs> discount code, so. <laughs> I'm, I, I think we might have to, might we? Yeah. Evil GT10. Evil GT10. Evil GT10, okay. and that gets 100% off, yeah? Yeah, okay. <laughs> As usual. Whilst I've been filming this video, I actually stumbled across a decent deal on Javelin, or was it MSV, for Alton Park. It was on the 23rd of January, and it's a track day, it was 109 quid, so I couldn't say no really. The focus is coming on a track day. Now, I want your opinion on these. This is webbing for seat belts, and this top one just here is a blue pinstripe, Ford Performance blue pinstripe either side. I think that would match the stitching on the seats, and it would match the stitching in the Recaro, the blue. I think they would look really good. What do you guys think? And not only that, these headlights are starting to look a little bit sorry for themselves. They're a bit crazed inside. They're going a little bit sort of misty, stone chipped. 
they look a bit of a mess. We had our headlights done on the RS4 at uh, EM Tuning with Troop, who did us Evil GT and the lenses and painted the inside and put new projectors and bulbs and things in. They looked incredible. So I reckon a trip to EM Tuning is definitely on the cards too. Enough about headlights and seat belts. I want to do a track day. I've checked the oil, the oil's bang on. I've checked the coolant, that sound. I've filled up the washer jet and uh, I've come to see this straggler here. What's the beetle you bought? Well, this is the Comfort Spec GT3 that's actually going to go on track. I'll probably be as, as much as a disadvantage as you because I've got front wheel drive, which ain't great in the rain, yeah. and you've got rear wheel drive, which ain't great in the rain. And these are amazing in the dry. Oh, the Cup 2s? Yeah, not so much in the wet. So I know you're not really technically supposed to be timing laps on a track day, but... Yeah, let's go. Breakfast. For breakfast okay, first. yeah, yeah, yeah. Sausage yeah. butty first, innit? Unfortunately, we won't be able to take Lee's car out. It's definitely too wet for a £200,000 car. So he's going to take the Focus instead. That's two red flags, literally one after the other. First time Lee hadn't even gone out, but this time, Lee's still not back in. Luckily, it wasn't Lee. Glad to see it back in one piece, mate. Only just. If we do end up leaving the track at any point, <laughs> yeah. if we go onto the grass, can you make sure we go onto the grass straight <laughs> and not sideways? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't want to tip it over. Because we haven't got a cage. No. Is a, it started off life as a Fiesta diesel. It's now a two litre something or other with 420 horsepower, four wheel drive. Should probably put that on the right way, shouldn't I? Watch me like, did you say before these tires are like 10 years old? Yeah. Good luck, mate. See you later. Like nice. McDonald's trees. Nice knowing you. Yeah. pressured Lee into taking his GT3 out. Peer pressure gets us all eventually, mate. I've got to say he's quite obviously driving that carefully because at 200 grand, it'd be an expensive accident, wouldn't it? That was a lap and a half. Yeah, but it's my tyres fault. I've got two cents. Yeah, go, 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 go on that one bit there. Professional tyres then, mate. No grip whatsoever. Second gear, third gear, just sliding sideways. That's, you like that though, don't you? No, not in a... <laughs> Not in 200 grand? Not in not 200 grand anymore. <laughs> not in 180 grand's worth of car. No thanks. Are you surprised how it feels? I'm surprised how grippy it is. Yeah. I've had a few moments where it's lost grip, but right there. Is that orange or yellow? That's cool blind. What the hell? That's gone up now. It's a bit like your helmet. <laughs> Day. The focus has been absolutely brilliant here at Alton Park. Thanks very much to Steve. He's a circuit instructor here. For anybody looking for a bit of circuit instruction, give uh, Steve and Johansson a shout. Uh, I don't know his socials. I'll find them out and stick them in the description, but he'll show you the way around Alton Park and take you around fast if you want to go around fast. But he's really, really enjoyed the focus. Uh, it's mad how for a front wheel drive car, there's so much oversteer. It rotates and uh, it gives you a little bit. It's great fun. So yeah, hopefully you've enjoyed today's video. Thanks to uh, Lee and Steve yeah, and MSV, although I did pay for the track day, it was 109 quid for anybody wondering. But uh, hopefully you've enjoyed the video and I shall catch you on the next one. <laughs>